Check out the sun rays. I love when that happens. Even if I sleep in, which I did. Well, at least I get to see it. Look at that. Pretty sunrise. I don't know what this is going to look like when I import the files onto the computer, but it doesn't look bad right now. I love that so much. Ooh. Very pretty. Good morning, everybody. Who's ready for a kick-ass day? I, one, feel awful. Two, am tired. Three, don't know where my ring is. Like, I literally have no idea where my ring went. It's concerning. But I need to shower and go to work now, which I'm super excited for. I'm going to bring my camera up because I'm going to try to go for a walk on my lunch break because I'm fasting again. Did I mention that? I mentioned that yesterday, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm not hungry right now, so I'm not going to eat. And then I'm going to bring energy drinks because I'm going to need them. And they will appetite suppress, suppress my appetite. That's how tired I am. I also uh, slept in like till six, six, yeah, it's 6.30 now, 6.45. I'm gonna go shower, whoops. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab my glasses, pack my bag and go. I'm gonna catch an Uber because obviously I missed the bus because obviously I was having a shower. Uh, I was gonna pack my wallet and I'm like, and another thing before I order my Uber, I did find my ring. It was on the floor near my bed. So I think what I've done is taken it off somewhere and put it on my bed possibly, and then I've knocked it out. I'm not sure, but I have it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Good morning, it is Saturday and I have work, which, yeah, I'm looking forward to not. I'm actually not as tired. I slept pretty well last night. I didn't sleep the normal like time that I normally do, but I did get some sleep and I didn't have that like get up, go back, get up, go back kind of thing. But it is cold right now and I'm going to pack a salad and maybe some veggie snacks for lunch for work because I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, I fasted again. <laughs> so I'm not going to break the fast now, but I will be breaking the fast today. So yes, I might bring a monster as well. Yeah, I'm going to bring a sugar-free monster as well, <laughs> just in case I get tired. But the coffee there, I mean the coffee is pretty shit, but they have instant coffee available. So. I might save the monsters for now. Because also I do want to sleep tonight. But I do also want to go to the gym. I didn't get any exercise yesterday because I was tired. And I was really tired yesterday. And I was fasting. So. The other thing I wanted to say, because the last vlog I filmed, I think I was fasting. But I didn't mention it. When you break a fast, you tend... Well, I mean, I, I did last time. When I broke my most recent longer fast. You get diarrhea. And... It's not pleasant, it's a lot of like just wet discharge from the butthole, so there's that. But yeah, I'm freezing, so I'm going to probably turn the heater on and then pack my lunch and go to work. Okay, it is Sunday and I just got back from the grocery store. I can't even get my words to work. So yesterday we went to a really harsh lockdown and my I was at work uh, our boss decided that customer service the department that I work in and by my boss I don't mean my boss I mean the company that I work for <laughs> I, don't know why I'm, I know exactly why I'm so emotional sorry I'm just gonna try and speed through the preamble to what I'm about to say the company decided that customer service the department that I work in needed to stay there and it was just a shit day and all the other departments came in with whatever germs they had on them to collect their stuff because they're not allowed to work from the business, from the actual company, like the building because, oh, we care about their safety. Anyway, and now I'm going to be more emotional about this stupid fucking thing. Uh, so I had, oh my god, my heart is racing. I had a click and collect for Woolworths today for my groceries and I went up and 
everything's dead it's just empty and that makes me really emotional and then I get there and I didn't have an invoice for my things and they gave me milk and it's not milk that I ordered and I was trying to find the invoice so that I could be like hey this isn't for me and now I've got this fucking milk that I didn't order that I don't know what I'm gonna do with and I didn't have the fucking balls to tell her because I was like, well, fuck, she's walk walked off. I'm just trying to put my click and collect into a bag. It's not my milk and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. And now I'm like, I have to go through everything with a fine tooth comb because I didn't get an invoice there. And now I have milk that I have to use by the 6th of August. The 6th of August. It's the first day. I have to use two liters of milk like i mean I, I use 30 mils maximum oh fuck my freezer's full i use a max of three 30 mils in my sorry i'm like shaking i know this is all really stupid i know it is but i'm just a little overwhelmed and having a full freezer every time I do my groceries isn't helping. I'm just gonna take that out. I'm really annoyed. I'm sorry. I just, I wanted to vlog this because this is the kind of shit that I'm like. <sighs> I, uh, I'm not coping today. Um, and this is what my apartment looks like, and this is what I look like, and. And I'm tired. And I'm sad. And I have all these fucking groceries. And I'm so sick of being in this fucking pandemic. Like, I just. I just want people to follow the rules. And get vaccinated and I want a vaccine but there aren't any I just don't want to deal with this anymore like I'm sick of it I am so sick of having to deal with lockdowns and grocery trips and, and not knowing uh, not knowing what I'm supposed to do for fucking, I know this is like everyone's going through it and it's not just about me. But it's really, it's really, it's really hard. And I beg you, please, please. I know you probably don't care about COVID and I know you probably don't have any risk factors because of COVID. And I'm not saying that I do, right? But I am worried that I do because there are certain things, and I've said it before, that can make you more vulnerable to complications with COVID. And I tick a few of those boxes. So I'm just begging you, if not for you, for people like me, or people like my dad, <laughs> My dad is an old guy and his living arrangement where he lives was a hot spot. I'm just sick of it. Thankfully he's okay, he tested negative and he's got his second AstraZeneca jab on Monday. And I'm like, ugh. I just, there's too much stress going on. Like there's too much chaos. There's too much there's too much inside of me right now like there's just <sighs> so um i'm gonna finish putting away groceries hoping that they're actually mine and most of them the rest of them are i ordered some fucking dumb shit because i probably made the order when i was fasting and i'm actually worried that i don't have something 
Yeah, I think they forgot something. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just, I'm not going back. I can't. I can't bring myself to go back. It's literally a block away. That was another thing. I walk past my gym when I go to the grocery store. And normally the car park's full because there's people at the gym. I've got to eat those berries. No, I don't. I have to put them back. Ah! Normally there's cars in the car park because, you know. Actually, let's see uh, <clears throat> Normally there's cars in the car park because people are at the gym. I know my fridge is going, so you can be loud. It was just, it was an empty car park. That's all I wanted to say, and it made me cry. So, fucking. As if I. Yeah. As if I needed any more evidence that I'm not coping. I cried in an empty car park and some businesses being closed. And milk. I'm crying about milk. Like. So. Shut up. Oh. Anyway. I'm gonna leave this unedited because I don't want to watch over it and I want you guys to s see all of it. Normally I cut out the ums and the ahs and the fucking thinking and the bullshit but this is real real. This is like real. This is like and I normally don't let myself feel this way or do these things or like feel anything so anyway I'm just I'm just and yesterday at work was so shit. The only reason, so the lockdown started at 4 p.m. And for stores and for other departments that were in the building, they said you need to leave because you need to be at home by 4 p.m. as per the legal, like the, the fucking what we've been told. And my company has just decided that my department is essential work, even though we didn't have any work to do for the last hour. And the only reason they sent us home is because one of the systems broke down. So if they could have had us working for that last hour, they would have. And I know that we were just as safe in the office as we were anywhere else, but it's just the principle. It's the fact that... I really need a new job. It's the fact that the company just doesn't care about the department that I work in and we're literally risking our lives sitting there because we couldn't we couldn't go anywhere and other departments had to come in and out of the building and like they were just told on a whim go to the office collect your things and then go so we don't know if they were in a hot spot and then came to us because also the hot spots from yesterday don't get updated until today <laughs> And it's shit like that, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I'm done talking about it. I need to do my groceries. <sighs> okay, um, I got a comment from someone that was really nice. And I don't even know how to sum up what it said to you, but it was a comment on one of my eating disorder videos on the main channel, which if you want to watch the video, uh, I will leave a card for it right now and you will be able to see the comment that they left and the response that I left to them and I don't know if I was as nice to them as I wanted to be because I just I know I I know I know I sound like a dick I know that I seem like a fucking moron for what I'm doing and I know it's stupid and I know I am I don't I know I know things up here but I, I can't change it I, I can't um, and none of that's making sense. I just don't have anyone to talk to. Actually, no, I've spoken to one person today on Messenger. And the person at Woolworths, where I was probably really weird. Um, I don't know if my body is trying to have a period and that's why I'm just super emotional or if there's something else going on. And I really, 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 really hope I'm not getting a period because that would feel like I failed. But anyway, uh, I've done fucking nothing all day and... I slept in and I haven't gone for a run and then I ate a whole bunch of food which was probably because of my shitty sleep which I don't know if my sheep the sleep was actually shitty but it just felt weird and then I ate food and I was like yeah this is fine and I actually was I'm trying I think what I'm gonna try <laughs> okay so we know that I can fast I think the next strategy I'm gonna try is eating calories in the right amounts 
for a day or two, she says with a frown. Because I used to be really good at just restricting. And then I had a single cheat day at the beginning of June, I think. It wasn't even a cheat day, I had a burger with uh, Angus. And then I haven't been able to get back on track since. And I'm in a lot of discomfort right now. So what I'm gonna do is Chloe Ting's challenge because it's the first of August and I wanted to do an indoor workout because I can't go to the gym and I was like oh I can do this one that I've been promising to do and then I was like oh wait I can make a video of that and I'm gonna make a video of it and I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea but you need to be charged <laughs> okay it has been one roller coaster of a day did I tell you that I ended up binging I don't want to say binging I, I want to say like I just ended up eating too much because I did but now I'm going to close out the vlog because I'm going to watch Excuse my pronunciation, Storst av Alt on Netflix, which is a Swedish drama about a girl. <laughs> That's about all I've got. Uh, and I'm gonna do Filthy 50s, which I wrote down what I was gonna do. Burpees, push-ups, banded pull-aparts, jumping lunges, commandos or shoulder taps, and delt raises. Because I didn't go for a run today. And the other thing was that the Chloe Ting workout that I did today was kind of shit, if I'm honest. I mean, it wasn't shit. But it was just like dumb. So I'm gonna do this because in this you've got a leg, a push, and a pull, which is like the basics of programming. And then you got another leg and another push and kind of a pull. Kind of a pull. It's a shoulder exercise. But anyway, uh, I'm doing those with the resistance band. But yeah, I'm gonna close the vlog here. It's been a long one, probably. And you guys will see me tomorrow. No, let me that again hope you're having an amazing day or morning or evening whatever time day it is for you and you guys will see me tomorrow when we do uni all from home because we're in a lockdown remember uh, i also had a wild thought because uh someone set their fire alarm off it wasn't an actual like full-blown fire alarm they were probably just cooking realistically but i realized that if an apartment complex actually needs to evacuate how are we gonna do that without all, you know, uh, getting within 1.5 meters of other people and hopefully having a place we can evacuate that will allow for social distancing. Like, it doesn't, so now I'm worrying about that. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> I guess.